Magnum Opus. Uh, coach's jacket holds back some shows that came back ferocious. I never left, I just fade to black and came back and focus. Back to back, I made three stacks, met three stacks and signed back some posters. Ain't that the dopest? Bring out the choir, sing like your roach, escape past the bogus. Fake ass promoters, make cash the motive, make that the motto. I took it in stride, I made ways to ride, I made pass to follow. The game came in time, the night came alive, the week came inside, the beat raised the vibe, the dark came to light, the dark Lead came to light. To the light. Even if it's night, baby, baby. Lead you to the light. <laughs> Start? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. KMAC Couture is life changing. Oh, it was exciting, frustrating, <laughs> um, fun. KMAC Couture is vibrant and eclectic. To me, it's like a way to express yourself. Creative outlet. KMAC Couture is an expression of personality. Uh, exciting, stimulating. Fun. K-Mac Couture is the coolest party in the city. It's a real deal fashion show. K-Mac Couture is wearable art. K-Mac Couture is magical.
So this year, um, as in the past, I helped devise the uh, curatorial theme, which this year is Beauty and the Beat. Um, bringing in music as a thematic component or inspiration for the designers. Well, I, I read what the this year's theme was, started thinking about songs that inspire me, was looking through music I listened to a lot. I was trying to encompass as much of the Louisville music scene as I could in my piece. I'm a child of the 80s, so... Um... Asking people for like musical instrument pieces. All the John Hughes pictures, uh, all those, those great soundtracks. Whatever it was that we think about uh, when we when we think about music and fashion in Lady Gaga. Because my music taste is all over the place. I love Bjork. Someone like Feller. Bach. Daft Punk. Well, I mean, Beauty and the Beat, like I was a huge Go-Go's fan. Uh, definitely Blondie. Beyonce. Taylor Swift. Ingrid Michaelson. Jenny Lewis. Hardy B is always like wearing some really interesting stuff. and All powerful lady singers. Mine is going to be throwback. I like early 90s alternative music. Green Day, no doubt. Pure. And then Fugazi as well. That, that punk band, I love them.
Do we want to circle back to the craft question? <laughs> I didn't think of anything, but I'll try it. <laughs> what is craft? Finish the sentence. Well, so at KMAC, we talk about craft being a, a verb. The act of making something with your hands. Craft is labor. Craft is uh, discipline. You know, craft is time. Craft is more personal. It's like, that is my craft. Crafting has been a big part of my life. Craft is culture. Uh, expertise, skill. What you can do with any kind of material, because anything can be turned into a craft. Craft is lifeblood. Craft is something that I take very seriously. And you can use machines to craft something, but ultimately you are creating with your hands. You can use your hands to express everything that you haven't been able to say. The process of when you have an idea in your head and making that a reality, a concrete thing. Yeah. So whether it be art, furniture, a lot of things people don't really understand whenever they look at a craft, like what actually goes into it, the hard work. Art is the big idea and craft is the process. Uh, and there's some beautiful Beautiful work being done all over Kentucky, all over Appalachia, all over America, all over the world. Beacon light of hope to millions who have been seared in the flames of withering injustice. There is a ceiling with artificial stars above my head. As I stand in the middle of the universe, the space between my feet and head is divine and cosmos created as I move from the currency covering every crevice of my complexion. Is the wind a current event to the trees? A current that has always occurred, a flow of sensation that the tree could read ever since its sprout first broke through the soil. But does our foliage care about the leaves lost, the lives blown away by unnatural disasters, thoughts and prayers offered by Lady Liberty? but never a hand reaching out with love. Some seem stuck in old ways, but we need a new lingo written on an old page. A colorful southern tradition to break the patterns of old flames that once lit up the sky. Words they don't speak cut deeper than any expectation that we fail to meet. We sit in silence like library attendants, reading body language written in 24-point font, 
deep breaths in bold underlying their feelings and highlight their disappointments. This morning we had an argument in Times New Roman. Their spell checker is never laxed. They point out errors, placing jagged red lines under the fact that we don't listen well. It's in all we want to do is get to the next chapter. But random conflicts make them question if we even want to keep reading. But the story has been a page turner. And it feels good being read by someone who understands. Where our peers harbor cargo ships of feelings filled with exhausted notions time and time again. We think this time we're going to win. Instead, we find self-serving men inclined to sell us to the pen or down the river. The weight of the world is on my back and I'm about to let it roll all over the atlas. They attack us, say it isn't so. Seeds that we planted within humanity have grown to bear strange fruit in its canopy and I try to take control of love. But love took control of me. Like how me and mine were left out of the mainstream economy idly. We wait for salvation. Idly, we wait for salvation.
On the record or off the record? <laughs> what I love about K-Mac Couture is that it reignited uh, creativity in myself that I haven't used in a long time. What I love about K-Mac Couture is it is a combination of fashion and art, which are two of my favorite things. I love K-Mac Couture because it came at a time in my career where I wasn't sure if I really was an artist. Um, and after this experience, I know, I know that I am. I love everything about it, honestly. Just the entire experience, everyone who works here and works for it, it's just, they're so amazing. And I wish everyone did this, honestly. It's, it's life changing. I love K-Mac Couture because K-Mac Couture has helped me grow, has helped me learn, has helped me to become a better artist and to know myself as an artist. And it's given me a wonderful education that I don't know, I don't know that I expected before this. So I'm eternally grateful for K-Mac Couture. Crap! 